Kia ora koutou and welcome to Blitz Bowl in about three minutes. Review copy used. There is no solo mode, it's a game for two players, playing time is short and it's a pretty simple game. Hello Blood Bowl fans, time for a quick game of Blitz Bowl, the fastest version of your favourite game, Blood Bowl. As always, I'm joined by my co-host, Bob Biffin. Bob, your thoughts on Blitz Bowl? I don't know Jim, the game is quicker for sure, but I don't like how you can have a good old fashioned 9 on 1 pile on. That's a good point Bob, let's head down to the field of play. The winner is the coach of the team with the most points once the challenge cards run out. You get points for scoring touchdowns and completing challenges. Variable player powers. Each team and each player has its own strengths and weaknesses. Dice. Actions in Blitz Bowl use dice. Player turn. Each player takes a dugout, their set of dice and their team's player cards. Some cards will represent multiple players. Place your team in your own end zone. Each turn you will have three actions and you can have one player take multiple actions as long as each action is different. Move allows you to move a number of spaces as shown here. If you move onto the ball, you can pick it up, but you cannot move adjacent to an opponent. The mark action allows you to move two spaces, but you must end your turn adjacent to an opponent. The block action lets you hit an adjacent player, roll one die and check the result. You want knockdowns and crunches. If you have two players adjacent to the opponent, roll two dice and pick. If a player is knocked down, they must make an armor save. If successful, they stay knocked down, but can take a stand up action later. If not, they are removed from the field to your dugout. Players in the dugout may take a reserve action to move to your end zone. The throw action allows you to move the ball quickly. Roll over the throwing player's throw score, but reduce your roll by one for long range and any opponents in the way. On a failed throw or a knockdown of the ball carrier, scatter the ball using a D8. Marked players cannot pick up the ball, so keep rolling until it lands clear or on an unmarked player. Moving the ball to the end zone scores you three points. Place a scoring player in your dugout and launch a new ball into play. In addition, each turn there will be three available challenge cards to claim. For example, Showboat for the Crowd gives you an extra point if you scored a touchdown on your turn. Each card also gives you a bonus play you can use later in the game. If you didn't claim a challenge card on your turn, discard one and refresh the line. Play until the challenge cards run out. Why would you like this game? Obviously Blitz Bowl is a reimagining of the classic Blood Bowl, but despite having the same theme, they are incredibly different games. Blood Bowl is a risk management game where every failure is punished harshly. Blitz Bowl on the other hand is far more forgiving and actively encourages you to do different things with the challenge cards. The three actions per player keep the turn short and it's an ultra fast paced two player game as a result. And while the game comes with all you need to play it, it also ships with the rules for most of the other teams in the Blood Bowl setting. So you can play it with other figures if you have them, like my 25 year old team here. The best thing about this game is the challenge cards. They not only give you points, but allow you to make interesting bonus plays. However, Blitz Bowl has limited availability worldwide, which is annoying as it's probably the most accessible and fun Games Workshop game I've played in years. And if you're looking for a deep serious game, this isn't it. It's a turbocharged, silly football game. As mentioned, this game is a fast version of Blood Bowl. And for a different type of sport, try rugby the game. Blitz Bowl. It's basically Rugby Sevens. If you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, subscribe to the channel, and come support us on Patreon.